Hey, it's Start When Ready, and we're here with part two of The Lady's Choice. Yeah. <laughs> um, basically, I don't really remember what happened since it's been a while, but I think um, nothing really happened that was too substantial. Like, we kind of went home, and Arabella has gone through a lot and she was like married and stuff like that and now she's into marrying some other guy and so we have to go to uh like another coming out season mm -hmm. yeah so that's basically where we are yeah okay so i think we're at not once had arabella seemed mm -hmm. okay i just wanted to check not once had arabella seemed keen on remarrying having inherited both title and wealth from her former husband. I glance at her, setting the smile on her face. It seems genuine. <laughs> <laughs> every time every time I read genuine, I think of like genuine oh, from same. Parks and Rec. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally going to say genuine. <laughs> uh, okay. I did not know you were in the market for someone new. You do not need a husband to secure your place in society any longer, Arabella. Yeah, you're loaded. Uh, of course, I do not need a husband. But that does not mean that I do not wish for someone to share my life with. That's so annoying. She's, she's probably like, hey, I wish I could share my life with someone. Hint, hint. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. This is all an elaborate ruse to get with her. <laughs> I give a nod of understanding. Maybe you'll also meet someone of your liking tonight, Sybil. Society has much changed since the last time you were here. I look at her unsurely. My nerves already on edge about tonight's ball. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that evening, we arrive at the already bustling assembly rooms for the opening ball of the season. Oh, how wonderful. So many here already. I nod in agreement. Where? Like, there isn't even, like, yeah. background yeah, sprites. there's literally <laughs> empty <laughs> space. So many people. <laughs> like, there's so many! <laughs> there certainly are so many. The assembly rooms are large, but seem positively tiny when packed with so many people. The heat is stifling, and I do my best to stand in the way of the doors. Oh. If they keep describing how, like, full the room is, you would think that they'd kind of add at least a couple of people standing yeah, around. Yeah, I agree. Like, at least, like, even, like, some blackheads. <clears throat> like, yeah. Hoping for the coolness of a draft. There's Lady Steer. Arabella points to the crowd, but I cannot pick one person out from the mass. I must ask how she's been. I shall return in but a moment. Before I can protest, she is swallowed up by the crowd and I am left standing alone at the edge of the room. Ooh, that's a... Uh, the uh, Saha guy. Excuse... <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, young woman! <laughs> Fuck! Oh. <laughs> well, she has a husky voice. Yeah. I turn around to see a young woman smiling at me. She got that cigarette voice. I realize... Uh, <laughs> I realize that... We have not yet been introduced, but I saw you speaking to Lady Ashbourne and simply had to know you. Wow, this is very forward. Yeah. She looks kind of weird. Keep going. Um, a little bit, yeah. Like her arms. Yeah, I don't know. Why? I am Miss Claire Witter. She bobs a small curtsy. Hmm. A bold introduction, Miss Witter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> that is quite a bold introduction, Miss Witter. And I am pleased for it. I drop into a small curtsy myself. I am a Sybil Crawley. You're Miss You're Miss Crawley? <laughs> <laughs> My mother has spoken of your return. Have you truly not been in town so long? I start a little at the abruptness of the question. Miss Witter, obviously a lot younger than her looks would suggest. Oh, oh burn! Yikes. 
It has been quite some time, yes. Then you must simply be desperate for enjoyment. <laughs> hint, hint. How dull it must be, Tab. It must have been in this country. <laughs> country. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Okay. She kind of reminds me of like a rose. From yeah, she does. I was I was thinking it, but I was like, that's too much. I'm not gonna say it. But I'm glad you she... said it, and you were too much. Yeah. <laughs> I barely have time to open my mouth to respond before she speaks again. Come, we must dance. I have a partner waiting for me, but we shall find you someone too. She takes my hand and tugs me to one side. Oh, Mr. Look Ainsbury. at her face. Yeah, like Sybil. Yeah. Yeah, right? Like the whole the whole time she's just been like that. Like, okay. <laughs> You'd think she would be like she would mellow out <laughs> about that now. I glance up to search out the person she had called. I hope we find a Mr. Darcy. Right. Mr. Amesbury. She raises her voice to be heard over the din of people. The the din of people. So many. <laughs> I finally managed to free my fingers from her excited grasp. Can I help you, Mr. <laughs> Miss Winter? A rather jovial voice as from the sea oh! of people. <laughs> you guys should tell us this! Right? Oh, we start making characters! Oh, uh, yeah. I glance up to meet eyes with a handsome, youthful face framed by thick locks of blonde curls. Ew, I hate blondes. I mean, he doesn't look that blonde. He's not blonde. It's like, like mold color. <laughs> yeah, for real. Why is his hair that color? Lawrence, this is Miss Sybil Crowley, and she is without a partner for this dance. He's like short. He has a weird body. <laughs> Look at it. It's like dick outline. Yeah. <laughs> It just does not match his body at all. Doesn't it? Like, oh my god, why? <laughs> he has, like, that really, like, V. You know? Oh my god. Oh, why? <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. I'm, like, sweating. <laughs> so now we have to romance him. He's getting you hot, hot and bothered. <laughs> More like the opposite, but yeah. <laughs> I can't help my cheeks heating at the forward nature of the young woman. I apologize. I would be most... How do you make, like, a happy guy? I would be most I happy! Would be... <laughs> I would be most happy! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would be most happy to rectify the situation, Miss Crowley! Oh my god! <laughs> Before I can speak my apology, Mr. Amesbury holds out a hand towards me. Do you want to dance? Or not uh, dance? Hmm. I'm kind of repulsed by him. Yeah, same. And I'm thinking, like, maybe there's something better <laughs> out there. Dance. Like, if we dance- <laughs> Screw him. Yeah, like, if we- <laughs> We dance with him as a last result. Like, he's kind of, like, on the yeah. side, just okay, in so case. Is he, like, standing sideways? Like, what's going on? And his knee is, like, <laughs> off. Oh my god, what a mess. Before I respond, Miss Switter scurries off to find her own partner. I thank you for the offer, Mr. Amesbury, but I am not in the mood for dancing. It's unladylike in this time. We can't. <laughs> uh... That is indeed a shame! Wow, very hot. Very appealing. <laughs> He's a jovial guy! He's not supposed to be hot! <laughs> <laughs> when he's like brooding and stuff, we'll be like, hey, whatever. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. We turn to watch the dancer. Blah, blah, blah. What? Wha okay. We turn to watch the dancers as the music begins. I find dancing to be one of the few reasons for attending these functions. Yeah, just not with you. <laughs> you attend many, do you? He shrugs in response. I have not been in society for many years, so I find joy where I can where I can if I am forced to be here once more. What do you mean like out in society for a long time? Is he like Boo Radley? <laughs> <laughs> like that's what I'm imagining. Uh I hear you have 
also not I hear you have also not returned to town for many a year, Miss Crawley. Do you not care for the constructions of society either? Is she like... Oh, constrictions. Yes, constructions. <laughs> Is she like um, polyamorous or something? Like what? Is she like a rebel? <laughs> okay. Um, I dig it. Uh, so maybe he was like... No, I don't know. I care um, little for being constricted. Is that really what Mary would say? Or are we just like, whatever? I think that's what Mary would say. Mm, she wouldn't want to be okay. constricted. I feel like she would kind of be like... Because Mary is sort of like... She's elitist, but she's also super hypocritical. Yeah, but she's less open about things. Yeah. I don't yeah, but, know. Okay, like the issue is, in these kinds of games... We can't afford to be- If we yeah, don't. If you, if you don't pick that option, you won't have You're like- You're gonna die alone. Yeah. And you don't have like a discreet, like, I'm gonna lie option, you know? There's always yeah. just kind of like, say what you mean. That's how the world works. If any works. artist wants to draw sprites or something for us, we'll totally make a visual novel. And if you want to program it for us, yeah. that would be cool too. And- We'll just- <laughs> we'll just give you an idea. Yeah. You can write it, it's fine. Yeah, and then just Do all like, the work and give us credit. Yeah, and then make it twenty dollars per game, and we get fifty. <laughs> we get fifty percent. Oh no, of we it. get twenty dollars so. per game when we get fifty dollars <laughs> yeah, per time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you're gonna get the money, but we get fifty anyway. That's right. Oh man. So which one are we doing? Uh, I care okay. little. Let's do it. I have little care for being chained by what others expect of me. He gives a sudden bark of laughter. Bark? <laughs> laughter. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Dra <Huh. laughs> Drawing the attention of nearby spectators watching the dancing. I don't believe that is what most would like to hear. Even if I, myself, find it a refreshing point of view to see in someone else at these events. If you care so little for society, why have you returned? Ooh. It cannot be avoided altogether, especially when one's family is so insistent upon their son continuing the family lineage. The frown from a moment before is broken by a stiff smile. Actually, I have been most l lucky in that my family have never pushed me to pursue marriage. Oh, that's cool. Why yeah, are you here? Me. Then consider yourself incredibly fortunate, Miss Crawley. That's a lie. <laughs> Someone Especially if she's the daughter of a Viscount yeah, she's being pushed That's why she's here yeah. Someone suddenly calls his name And he turns to give them a nod of recognition Oh, that's, that's right. me Please excuse me, Miss Crawley Hopefully that's the last <laughs> of him He gives a short bow Before spitting on his heel to disappear into the crowds Thankfully I am not left alone long as Arabella finds me soon after. Sybil, you must- oh, Sybil, you must make haste and come this way. What has happened? You'd think she'd change her outfit. Yeah. Some military officers are being stationed in Bath for a few days, and I've come for introductions today. I do not want to talk to them. They are simply so dashing I almost fainted where I stood. And what have you betrothed? He is not my betrothed. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Arabella. You go, on one hand, but also you're yeah. kind of awful. Like, aren't you kind of done? You know, you got the money, you got like, the title. Why do you need some dude? Take, take care of yeah. yourself. You're better mm -hmm. than this. Kind of like, you know, go for a sabbatical, but in reality, it's just like you fucking guys, like it, one country... Like, you know, like that li <laughs> Like, there was a movie that I watched or whatever, and then this guy had a list, and he would, like, want to have sex with one girl from every country, and then he'll be like, I'm well-traveled. <laughs> Same. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. That's a plan. You do it, Arabella. That's the best plan you can probably come up with. <laughs> I would have blushed from her words had I not grown used to them years ago. She leads me to one side of the room, where a swath of young women have taken up. 
What does that mean? A, a gaggle of girls. Yeah, I mean, I guess, <laughs> but I've never seen SWAT before. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Ever? we're just not cultured enough. Yeah. She's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Arabella pays them little mind as she squeezes through them with a practiced elegance. Finally, we come to a stop before a tall, uniformed man. He's all right. Yeah, he's yeah, he doesn't than have the other a guy. V thing in his crotch. Okay, why do they all uh, look like they're standing sideways? Um, I don't know. Just because it's like. You know, sometimes you sit, you stand at an angle in pictures to look thinner. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yes. <laughs> there you go. That's the answer. It is hard not to fight, find the sight rather pleasing. He's foxy. <laughs> oh, that's me again. Oh my god. Okay. Colonel Foxley? At the sound of her voice, the man's face lights into a bright smile. Lady Ashbourne. <laughs> I would be most pleased to introduce you to my closest friend, Miss Sybil Crawley. He dips into a bow, and I drop into a small curtsy. It is most delightful to meet you, Lady Ash. Please, Colonel, Arabella will do just fine. But Lady Ashbourne, it is only Splushing. a name, Colonel. It, yeah, I guess, right? Because then it's like you only name people uh, if you know them, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the cultures of the Regency England times, so they're lost. <laughs> to me. The Colonel clears his throat before continuing with what he was saying. Arabella has been most kind in helping us find our way around. I am certain it is a task she will take very much to heart. The music ends on the next dance, and Arabella suddenly brightens. Oh, Colonel, did you not promise me the next dance? Indeed I did. Arabella moves forward to slip her arm into his. Oh, so this is the guy! Um, I don't... Uh... Is that the guy she's, no. like, into? I mean, it might be the guy she's into, but it's not the man she's betrothed to. Oh, you whore. <laughs> because she was like, Sybil was like, but what if you're betrothed? And she's like, ah, fuck it. Look at this hot military. Oh! Guy. I was reading without, like, I don't know. I just wasn't paying attention, <laughs> I guess. Um, so we can, we can date him. That's what I this says. I think so. We can steal him from under Arabella's grasp. I don't remember the guys. Yeah, so I, don't know. I know this one, the other guy, and then I don't know some other. Are they the only options? Because I need to know how many we have. I think we have three. He's all right looking. I think he's more tolerable. Yeah, I just want to see because maybe it goes from like bottom okay. up. <laughs> so maybe like the hottest guy. So we can't dance with just anyone. This is true. But what if the hottest guy is this guy and then the next guy is awful? Well, they can't be like that to us. <laughs> we like we have to see all the options yeah. before settling. What if we dance with him and then and then he's like, "Well, do you want to go on a date with me?" And we're like, "I don't, I don't know. Do I?" Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Speaking of which, do we? That's the real question. Are we gonna go on a date with this charming young Colonel? This foxy young Colonel Foxley? <laughs> Do you want to be called Sybil, Sybil Foxley? Foxley. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we'll see you next time.